I remember um, I came out of the event, that movie, one of my top, probably 20 favorite movies of all time. The movie, the only movie that Joss Whedon directed that I liked. This movie, the reason I mainly loved it because was because of Loki. Loki was wacky. He was awesome. He was who I liked. He was my favorite MCU villain, and he still is. I don't care if Thanos came out. Loki was better to me, and he always will be. The thing I really liked about Loki is just that he's just a normal guy who had a bad life. He learned that oh, he's not even Odin's son. He, he's actually someone else's son, but Odin told him, it took him, and never even told him the truth. His motivations make sense. He's a hilarious character. He just wants world domination, which is great. The thing I like about him is that he's just a person who's driven by madness. And it's not his fault that he's bad. It's not Odin's fault. It's not Thor's fault. It's no one's fault, in a way. The reason I like Loki so much is just because he's a wacky character who's trying to trying to get revenge for what happened to him. He's trying to do what he wants. He wants to conquer the world. He wants to be a king. He wants to be treated like he matters. That's the reason I like him a lot. He's wacky. And he just wants to find his own place in the world and I can relate to him. Loki is totally relatable. You know what he's doing giving good, but at the same time. You know why he's doing it, and you understand, even if you don't agree with him. And if you were him, maybe you, you probably would have done the same thing. Maybe. Who knows? Even if you're a pure-hearted guy, you can still do that. And, the, and ever since I watched The Avengers, I've always wanted a Loki movie. Or, then I thought of the movie, but we got a show. But, and I've been wanting it for so long. And then... I saw Avengers Endgame and saw Loki jump out of the timeline. And I went this. Yep, we're getting the Loki show or in movie. And then in 2020, it was confirmed that we're getting a Loki show. I'm like this. I don't care if it's a show or a movie. I'm just watching this. And it has to be good or else I quit the MCU. Those were my exact words. I still have a recording of them, but I don't know where it is now, so I have to search for it. But still. And the show came, and it didn't disappoint. The thing I really enjoyed about the show is that it's just a character-focused show. And it's wacky. And it's humorous, just like Loki. And it shows Loki's perspective of the world. You see him change. Just like you saw him change throughout five movies. But here, you see him change. Slower. Because those five movies weren't even focused on him. Here, maybe it's a little quicker, you're like. Throughout the episode, you see him change. You see him become a better person. You see him care for Silva, I think that's her name. You see him care for Owen Wilson, and you see their friendship develop. You see him and Silva's friendship or relationship develop. You see him, Loki himself, turn from an evil mastermind to a person who actually cares about a person over himself. He actually cares about people. A quick way, they, they did it pretty fast to show him his entire future from what happened after that, from the Avengers. But, still, even with that, he didn't just miraculously change, you still saw him change. Silva, although I'm not a fan of the relationship, still shows Loki himself. You see Loki in her. And seeing Loki put someone before himself for the first time and actually caring for someone like he never did before was something that made me feel this is a show. Not like Falcon, not mainly not like WandaVision at all. I'm not a big fan of WandaVision. I love Falcon though. But it feels like its own thing. Another thing I really like was its wacky personality. It's a funny and it just, all the costumes look hilarious. And it just feels like a show I'm going to want to rewatch 300 times. Because I'm a humor comedy guy. I love comedy. And it's funny. And the show describes Loki's personality. He's humorous. And 
world dominator, which happens, and you also see every other character changing. You see Owen Wilson change from a man who's forced to do his actions to a man who can make his own decisions. You can see Silva changing from a person who's just pretty much like a killer in a way to actually becoming a real Loki. You see the old Loki develop from being this selfish dude in a way. He's not fully selfish, but from a per- but still, he develops to a person who's willing to risk his life for himself, I guess? Even alligator Loki gets some hilarious development, but it's not really character development, because all he does is bite secondary looking the same Tom Hiddleston Loki handoff. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. But I still liked his design. Also, it just looks so weird when some one of Asgard's people's hands cut off, when Thor's hand got cut off, even though it was a fake mirage, he, it looked like metal armor itself was getting cut off. Loki's hand looked like metal armor was coming off. It just looks so weird. But Loki is not a show about... It's not a show about humor, comedy, let's just make this the funny show ever. It's a show about characters and wacky personalities. It's a show bringing a bunch of characters with weird personalities who aren't really that into each other, showing and making them be, be, become friends or love interests, in a way. Loki takes Loki, old Loki, Owen Wilson, that Silva Loki, girl Loki, she Loki, and so many other characters and makes them into likable protagonists, or just likable people. Another thing I really liked was that they just skipped Infinity War. Like, Infinity Stones don't work in the TVA. They're getting rid of Infinity Stones. They're like, yep, Infinity Stones don't matter anymore. It's just about new stuff, I guess. Because there won't be an Avengers 5 as well, so yeah. I guess whatever. Loki also can made so many more MCU movies better, had great references, great humor, and overall, it's just a great show. Another thing I really liked was just Tom Hiddleston's performance, and I just really liked that Loki wasn't wearing his Axe Guardian stupid suit, he was wearing a prison uniform, and I got quite used to that. And I also like the logo for the show right here. And something that's special to me, this show, a few stuff I didn't like, though, because the show's not perfect or something, is... Well, yep, I need some time to think about this. The costumes, I don't really thought the Loki costumes for the most part, except both same-looking Lokis, were all just weird cartoonish trash. At times, jokes cut off emotional moments, which is MCU's known for, but most of the times there isn't, but still, a lot of times there is. Or, quite a few times. Also, I'm just not a big fan of uh, a lot of the other Loki's performances, and also not a big fan of Silva. Like, her actor isn't that great. Her character is pretty good. And her development was perfect. Or not perfect, but pretty good. I also didn't really like how, like, the court judging lady didn't get really any development. I get there's a season two, but still, I couldn't ignore that. And that's it. And Loki gets a 9 out of 10 by.